Hey guys, welcome back to Closet Raid. Jasmine Whitley here. If you're new to my channel, I'm a wardrobe stylist and fashion editor. I live in LA. I post fashion content every single week here on YouTube. So if you're into that kind of thing, please be sure to subscribe. Today we are doing a luxury handbag collection video and I've never done a video like this. So if you're into this kind of thing, please be sure to like it so I know. Um, I've never done this type of video because obviously everyone always does a huge disclaimer about like this is not supposed to be like braggy and everything but I'm in the fashion industry and I'm working with brands and clothing and it's just so I see this as just sharing my favorite pieces with you guys. I also want to talk about like why I watch luxury handbag collection videos because for me when I watch these types of videos it's just interesting for me to see different people's style and luxury handbags are a huge investment for the majority of people it's not just something you just go out and buy you like think about your purchase because it's it's a big purchase so i'm just interested in seeing like what people invest in and like what how they style their pieces and what they wear and it's just super interesting to me so let me know in the comments down below why you watch luxury handbag videos if you guys watch these types of videos so before we get right into this video i want to take a second to let you guys in on this app called beans that you have to download it's in my description the first link you can connect with me by clicking that link and downloading the app it took me three minutes to set up my app to like download it and set up my profile it was super quick and easy beans is a video chat platform that makes it really easy to charge per minute a permanent rate for your services so for me on my profile I'm going to be offering my fashion advice fashion services if you guys want to hire me to help you guys do like a, a closet edit, we can redo your closet and see what you need, what you should get rid of, if you need to order certain pieces. Um, we can do fittings. We can do like see what looks best on your body type. There's so many things that we can do fashion wise via beans and i'm so excited about that and you can download the app if you offer any services like let's just say you're a nutritionist you can use the app if you're a social media growth expert and you want to like share your information with other people you can charge per minute it's just such a cool new app that i'm really excited to start using so i just wanted to let you guys know that if you do hire me through beans this week i'm going to be taking my earnings and donating it to a charity just everything that's been going on with this pandemic and global crisis like i want to give back to just help out during this time to people who are less fortunate so just want to let you guys know that click the link down in my description connect with me on beans i'm super excited about it very quickly i just wanted to show you guys what the app looks like there's my rate one dollar per minute you can set the rate to whatever you want it shows you your earnings you can also um just be someone who supports people on beans which is amazing right now because a lot of freelancers can't necessarily connect or work with people unless there are platforms and apps and things like this so definitely check it out and let's get right into this video. So I guess I should start off with this big bright yellow bag right here. Fendi has always been one of my favorite brands. I've always loved Fendi. I'm Italian. I love their whole story. If you want to go read about it online, Google, you know, Fendi's story. I just love, love, love the brand. The first Fendi bag we're talking about in my collection is this bag a couple years ago i was at my favorite mall with my mom we were at south coast plaza i love that mall um comment your guys's favorite mall i feel like south coast has all the good stores we were hanging out and having dinner at the mall and i came across this bag i fell in love with this piece and it's like an olive green color which is my favorite favorite color i love olive green i love gold hardware and I love all the space. I'm not huge on teeny tiny bags. So this is like a perfect medium bag for me. And it has one pocket in the front and one pocket, like one compartment in the back that you can store stuff in. Oh, I just found a, a freaking, oh my God, I'm so happy. We're in a pandemic and I don't go to the grocery store and I found my favorite protein bar right now. I'm having this tomorrow because I already ate so much. Chocolate. It, this is like a vegan cashew cookie bar. 
It's so good. This is the Target brand. Anyway, you can wear this bag so many different ways. That's what kind of sold me on this is that you can wear this bag like this over your shoulder or you can adjust the straps and make this one long and then you can just wear it completely crossbody. And this piece, this gold little stud, this little pyramid like stud right here, it's not a pyramid, it's like a circle stud. This pops out a little bag within the bag like that you can put like a little wallet, you can put your credit cards, cash, like a little kind of com mini compartment that's like a part of the bag. There's just so much that was so cute. And, and very useful. I like bags that are extremely useful because luxury handbags are so expensive I don't want to buy something that I get very little use out of. I think that's so silly I'm such a floral print person and the fact that these have like beautiful flowers Like I try to be super careful with this bag. It does crease easily. The leather is very delicate um, so I try to wear this like if I am more dressed up or something like I wore it on a date and I really haven't regretted this. I love this bag. Okay, actually, hold on. My other bag is hanging up because it's my, like, everyday bag. Oh, shit. My battery's gonna die. If you've been following me for any amount of time, and I mean any amount of time on social media, you have seen this Givenchy Pandora patent leather bag. It's very big and large. I am a 5'2" woman so this bag is big but i'm so obsessed with it i even have like a mini little charm on it look at this charm it's a hold on it's so cute it's a baby little baby Givenchy like charm on it and it's like a baby pink but anyway, this bag, if I had to choose one bag that sums me up, it would be this bag. I'm all over the map in terms of style. Like, I don't have, I would say, one signature style, but I am, like, very rock and roll sometimes with, like, my docks and my skinny jeans and my hoodies and my crew necks that are, like, beanies. Like, kind of, like, hipster rock and roll. I don't know how to describe my style, but this definitely, this definitely has been my style for the longest time. I've worn this bag a countless amount of times. It's a black hole because there's one huge pouch right here with just only one little side one, like for my, like everything goes in there actually. And then this, which I don't use and this, which I don't use. This is very small. You could get use out of this, but I just feel like it's just so much that I just throw everything in here. It's just really easy. But I love this bag because it's oversized. I always, always, always think this bag makes me look really tiny and thin. I like to wear it so many different ways. I like to wear it right here at the crease of my arm. I also like to wear it with the long strap just hanging on my shoulder. Like, I just love this bag. I, I feel like it's the most useful practical bag and also the... Um, wear and tear on it is minimal and i've been wearing it for years that just shows you the quality and the craftsmanship of this bag because it is intact and i've taken this to vacations trips clubs just every single place you can imagine and i'm not dainty and delicate and very safe with my bags i'm the type to just chuck my bag there and i'm not very i don't like to be very snooty and bougie about it i will put my bag like on the ground i don't love to but i feel like it's just holding up really well and i'm proud of her that is my giant oversized bag next up in the handbag collections we're switching gears and going back to fendi and we're going to the opposite end of the spectrum and i'm going to show you guys my little clutch or my small bag this has a huge ring on it i did a video where i showed you guys this bag in the past for those of you who have not seen it there's three little bags and it's all on this ring and i absolutely love the colors the pastel colors are so 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 pretty to me you can't it doesn't pick up on camera that well but it's like a baby pink a beautiful creamy like bone kind of color and then a gorgeous charcoal gray and I wear this all the time if I need a little clutch or like a little evening bag. The downside is I only like it when it, I'm holding it like this. I don't like when I hold it like this because then it looks weird to me. Like I feel like I have to hold it a certain type of way when I like pose with it or hold it. So that's the only downside. 
Um, I was thinking about maybe ha wearing it crossbody if I had a really cool chain that I either um, custom made or purchased. I feel like that could be super sick. I'll keep you guys updated on that. But it's just really simple. It's three compartments. There There's no crazy story behind it. I loved the colors so much, fell in love with this, thought it was so unique. I love unique pieces. As you saw with like the floral bag, it's a very statement bag. And this one is also statement with the giant hardware. I think it's kind of cool. It's just like, it's designer, but doesn't like scream designer. That's something that I really like about all my bags for the most part. Yeah, I don't have any like printed like in your face logo type bags i like sleek like incognito like i'm a designer bag but like am i you know this little bag i got for my birthday a couple weeks ago i got this bag very out of character for me because i'm not a gucci person when i shop for handbags i hate following fads i hate super trendy bags and for a long time i didn't want to buy gucci because gucci was like oh my gosh it's all you saw logo like i'm not against logo mania i think it's cool when things are printed but like it was just excessive for me and it was very like youtube -y. it was very like gucci was like the brand for like youtubers to buy i think like just like young money like it, it was just like really annoying anyway gucci's like on its way out and i feel like right now it's all about like prada and like dior and stuff but so I found this bag online on the Webster, which is a boutique that I'm obsessed with. They carry the most amazing pieces. It's perfectly curated. And I found this bag, which is metallic. Okay, it's such a cute color combination. It's a metallic turquoise like aqua blue and like a, a dull metallic Barbie pink. Like the back is really dull. I don't know if it's because I Lysoled it because of coronavirus, but it's like a, did I ruin my bag? I don't know, but it came from New Jersey and New Jersey's like a coronavirus hotspot. Anyway, how cute is the lining of this bag? Like I'm a sucker for detail and for floral again, this is lined with like a floral print. Like how to die for is that? So this bag is small, which is not my typical thing. However, I've been going for like a lot of walks and I've been going, like I've been getting use out of this, even though I'm in quarantine. If I go out, I need something very sleek and simple and small and concise so that it doesn't, it's no added stress. I don't like touch my bag against something and then have to wipe it and worry about germs and coronavirus. So anyway, I usually put this like crossbody, obviously. I love that the, the strap is really long. I hate when crossbodies sit very like, like fitted to the body. I think it's awkward and weird, but I love that this is like a long loose strap. I love that it's like a pretty braided leather strap. And it's just very tiny. If it's my card holder, a, a protein bar, I always have food. A card holder, a protein bar, and I hate to admit this, but it doesn't really fit my phone easily. I don't have a new phone though, so once I get the new phone, maybe it'll fit. I think the new one's smaller than my, my phone is so old, it's over there. It's pretty small, but I really, really love it. It goes against my usual, like, motto but it reminds me of the golden girls it's so cute it reminds me like of a vintage 80s or like 90s grandma bag like it's just really cute and i could wear it with literally anything these colors are so fun and again like i love mixing metals and this is silver and gold hardware which is so sick like how cool is that and it's not like in your face gucci like no one would know that this is a little gucci bag unless you know fashion so so freaking cute i love this bag so much um i was nervous that i wouldn't like it in person because i don't make purchases like this online very often i love to see things in real life and touch them and just feel them um it came in this little dust bag the next bag that we're going to talk about is one that i wanted for a while and she is a Saint Laurent. I really, really, really love floral. It's no joke. I love a floral print so much and I love star prints. I always say after 
following my statement saying I love star prints, I always say it's so cheesy, but anything with like little stars on it to me is so cute. Um, I love this bag because it is the prairie print that also they came out with a boot and a pump with the same print on it. And I regret so badly not buying it, but how cute is this? I love, you know, a chunky chain that is gold. It goes with all my gold jewelry. My bra strap has been showing through this whole video and I, it's the tackiest thing ever. Don't, fashion tip, don't do that. The inside, it has a ton of like little card holder slots, like a ton, like way too many actually. Um, and then there's like a middle compartment, two side compartments, and then all the card holder little slots on both sides. And I do like this, however, the only complaint or like regret or like one thing that I just dislike about it is the fact that it doesn't fit very much. It, it has to be paper thin, like your card holder, not even like a chunky lipstick or lip gloss or else the button doesn't want to close nicely. Like, which really annoys me because like I love a big bag and I'm used to sticking, you know, a lot of stuff. So I only wear this if I only want to carry cash, card, and like just minimal. Like min more minimal than the clutch, more minimal than the Gucci bag, more minimal. It's just so, you have to carry literally nothing. Like this is just like one of those little statement bags that is more of an accessory and that's what I said that I don't like, but I do love this bag. And lastly, we have another Givenchy bag and this is the Antigona bag in patent leather and I scored this bag off of the Real Real and they sell luxury handbags that have been like pre-owned and this bag was like seasons ago that they made the patent leather and I wanted it in patent because of the Pandora and I just it's the, the most beautiful finish to me with like leather. I think this bag looks so cool because this style bag was huge back when Kylie wore this bag um, everywhere. This bag kind of to me is kind of like eh, like it's kind of out of style when I was talking about like the trendy bags becoming like the not so cool bags. Like for every designer bag that's like the bag of the moment and like how like it soars on like desirability, it becomes like that undesirable, if that makes sense. Like it, it just like flips. Like do you guys remember like the Celine bag that like everyone wanted a little luggage tote bag? And now it's just like so out of style. And same with just like the Gucci bags. They're like not cool anymore. The super, super trendy bags become uncool really quickly. But this in this finish, I think is so, so pretty. Just It just makes it more rock star, rugged. I like to put like chains and charms and stuff and just wear it with like jeans and docks or just dress it really down. I mean, I have worn this dress up as well, like super sleek and like business meeting-y. Um, but it's just like a fun, gorgeous, structured piece. That is my luxury handbag collection. I do want to say that if you're currently looking for a handbag that you want to purchase, my advice as a wardrobe stylist, as a fashion expert, is to buy what you love. Like, don't buy it because a celebrity has it. Don't buy it because your friend has it or because you think it's like the cool bag of the moment. Do you really like it? Like that's the only question you need to ask and maybe like if you'll get use out of it, like if it's um, useful. I feel like if you're gonna spend a chunk of money on something, like it, love it, like be excited about it. Don't just get it because you feel like pressured into it or you feel like it's like, of the moment. I feel like those are the worst purchases that I make when I just like feel like it's cool or trendy. I encourage you guys to just purchase luxury pieces if you're in the market for a luxury designer handbag that you really love. Like who cares what anyone else thinks? I know I talked about bags being cool, not cool, trendy, out of style, in style. If you love it, wear it. And who cares like what anyone else thinks. So that was my designer handbag collection. It's very small, very edited, very concise. Um, I only buy pieces that I'm really excited about or really, really want for a while. And like, I, I just want to make that leap and buy it. Um, I do think that, you know, spending two, three, four, five, six, seven thousand dollars on a bag is kind of insane, even though I am in fashion and appreciate fashion. Um, I think it's 
it's a big purchase so i don't have a huge handbag collection but each piece is very important to me and i love every single one and wear every single one and get used out of every single one but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i liked making this video i hope you guys enjoyed it comment down below let me know which style handbag you like the best be sure again to download beans click the link in my description the first link will be the beans app download it connect with me i can't wait to hopefully style you guys can't wait to connect with you guys on there thank you beans for partnering with me on this video i really appreciate it and i will see you guys in a new video very very soon bye